I want to briefly speak on Little Nas X. I'm not going to give this dude too much shine. Um, that's why I had not been talking about him, you know, because this is all for clout. Uh, the dude is extremely disrespectful, but my response is directed towards The Breakfast Club, which I don't listen to. And the only reason why I heard about this was because other people spoke about it. I completely uh, unfriended or unfollowed The Breakfast Club because they're on a whole different level, man. They are not for the children or they're not for the so-called black community. I think they're hypocritical, in my own personal opinion. But they did a whole 50-plus minute attack on Lil Bootsy because of how he felt towards Lil Nas X getting naked on stage or coming out like he was pregnant or whatever Lil Nas X was doing. Boosie spoke out against it. They dedicated a whole segment of attacking Boosie, asking him about strippers, asking him about this and that and women and having three, this crazy stuff, man, trying to trap him. But Lil Nas X was on The Breakfast Club and he came right out and said, F your children. And The Breakfast Club said nothing but laugh. They laughed it off. Especially Angela E. I'm going to let you listen to Lil Nas X at The Breakfast Club. And this is fair use. Check out what Little Nas X had to say about your kids. But yet, this image is out there where he's with children. And you're not afraid of this kid being around your... You're not afraid of this dude being around your children? Listen to what Little Nas X says about your kids. You know, so what's going... The people, the people in your life that are, that are dead to you, basically. Yeah, like people... Who are dead to me. And I guess nobody's ever really 100% dead to me. But it's like some people you just want to disconnect from. Yeah. Do you feel the pressure of, I I see it all the time, parents be like, you know, you have a responsibility because kids are watching. You hear that? Cardi B had that same problem and Nicki had that same problem. Do you feel that same way? Like, I don't know. I feel like I used to, but now I'm just like, so? Like, like, fuck your kids. Not like fuck your kids. That's exactly <laughs> that what harsh. you just said. <laughs> but like, but like, fuck the kids. But like I'm you a, just gave them another headline, Montero. Okay, what agenda is that? The fuck your kids agenda. <laughs> it's like um, we really get one one chance to do this. At least to my knowledge, I don't know like what happens when we die or not. Uh, so it's like I'm not, I'm not like about to pander to your kids or you. Like anybody, like even I have even have to do this with my family members, you know, like because my family members may not always agree with what I'm doing, or like whoever I'm dating, like they may not agree. But it's like I honestly, really, truly want to live by, you know, this is our life. We get to do this shit. So fuck what anybody else has to really say. So that's what he had to say about your kids. And notice it was complete silence with the Breakfast Club. Now. Charity starts at home. It's up to the parents to raise their children. I remember when my sons were young. And and if I heard them listening to something, you have to turn that off. Turn it off. We don't play that in our house. Now, once they became adults, they do what they want to do. But while they're under this roof, There has to be a certain amount of respect for the house. You understand me? So there's rules to this house. So I think more parents that's really concerned about their children should set strict rules. There's not too many strict parents left in this world. They're allowing their children to do anything and everything they want to do. They're allowing their children to watch and listen to whatever they want to listen to. 
and they are not being rightly guided. So it is the parents' fault that they allow these kids, their children, their underage kids, to listen to weirdos like this. But this is what little Nas X thinks about your kids. But the content that he have on YouTube is still on YouTube and it's monetized. If I say something out of the way or Kwame Brown, Kevin Samuels, or any other content creator, our videos will be flagged. Our videos will be demonetized. But this is the type of garbage that's allowed on social media. We're living in a demonic society. But it's the parents' responsibility to raise their kids right. To be the one to restrict your child from listening to uh, people like Lil Nas X. Protect your kids from people like Lil Nas X. So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.